Hi! This is a quick addition to the menu toggle tutorial that I made a while ago. First of all, I realized in the tutorial you, it doesn't really work when you have write defaults on. Uh, so I'm going to show how to fix that. And also somebody in the comments asked how would you do that if you want a double press. So you need to press the toggle twice in order to toggle on the menu. That's what we're going to do. So first of all, write defaults, assuming we have a setup where write defaults is important. Um, just put the menu off animation into this empty here as well. So we can just put it here and the menu on animation into the buffer here as well. And in order to better reflect it in the animator, I'll call it uh, off buffer and here on buffer. Because now if you run it, because by default, by the last tutorial, we are usually in the off buffer state waiting. Um, menu is currently off. If you press the off, uh, the menu thing once, then we go on to menu on and then into the on buffer. And uh, yeah, so maybe that's easier. Just put the off menu animation in both and same with the on menu. So how do we make a double click, a double press? It's quite simple. First of all, we duplicate the off buffer, control D for duplicate. I call it off buffer two. Uh, we can delete this transition here make a new transition from off buffer two to menu on another transition from off buffer to off buffer two. So first of all, this transition here from the first buffer to the second buffer, uh, we don't need exit time, but we want a transition duration of 0.3 seconds. And we need, of course, the condition that if we press the button, we should go to the second buffer. And same thing here, um, we want in this case absolutely zero transition time and the condition that we press the menu button. Okay, so what else do we need? We need one transition from buffer two back to menu off. And this transition will have no condition, but a really long transition time. Oh, really long. Let's say like three seconds. That means we are menu off, we automatically go here. If we press it once, the menu button, we go here. And then we have three seconds time to press it a second time to actually turn it on. So whatever time you put here is the time you have to press the second time. And what also is important, we need interruption source is being set to current state. And now if we click on the uh, node here on the second buffer animation, we need to make sure that in this list, in the transition list right here, um, the transition to menu on is above the transition to menu off. So you can drag and drop these around. It will only work if this transition to menu on is above the other one. So now if we play this thing again, we are in this buffer. If we click it once, we go in buffer two and you can see there's the blue arrow. Uh, it, it's kind of slowly. It's three seconds it takes until it is fully in menu off. So if we press it again, within those three seconds, it will go to menu off and back to the on buffer. All right, I hope this is helpful. Um, I haven't tested it in game, but it should work. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments and have a good day. Bye bye.